Hello, everyone, um, and welcome. So my name is Anne Kennedy. I'm the Partnerships Director at Culture24, and I lead our digital skills um, and leadership development programmes. And I'm chairing today's session. Right, why are we here? So early in 2021, Culture24 and a group of partners, some of whom you'll meet today, began a year-long development programme called Leading the Sector, LTS for short, uh, supported by the National Lottery Heritage Fund as part of their Digital Skills in Heritage programme. So we worked with a group of 16 leaders from a range of UK-based heritage organisations to develop their digital confidence and support them in becoming what we termed um, more digitally literate leaders. Little did we know when we started the programme that it would unfold um, as alongside a global pandemic uh, and that added a certain piquancy to the proceedings as you can imagine. So today is all about reflecting on what we learned, it's about sharing approaches and ideas with you and sharing a new set of free open access digital resources drawn from the programme on our Digital Pathways website which we will share a link to in the chat. So we're here for an hour, in a moment I'm going to hand over to Josie Fraser who's Head of Digital Policy at National Lottery Heritage Fund for some opening thoughts from her. Then we're gonna hear from two of the cohort, hi Josie, um, Giovanna Vitelli and Christine Luxton, who will share their reflections on ways they develop their digital confidence and leadership. Katie Ashton of the People's History Museum was going to join us, but the poor thing has COVID. She will be fine, but she's unable to join us. Um, then after Giovanna and Chris, we've got Patrick Town and Ross Parry, two of our partners, who will share their takes um, on the approaches we took before we open up to your questions and your discussion. So as we're all talking, questions in the Q&A, um, observations in the chat, you can upvote questions in the Q&A as well, um, so that we can focus on the more popular ones when we come to the Q&A session. Um, but more on that later, I'm going to hand over to Josie. Josie. Thanks ever so much. Um, it's really great to be with you this afternoon um, and it's it's a different kind of event obviously than being in there in person with everybody but it's nice to be um, synchronous to everyone apart from everyone watching the recordings uh, and to them hello too and I'm looking forward to meeting and talking to you in the future. Um, I think the introduction today was, was great and gives a flavour of what we're going to um, explore. Uh, with the event today and I'm really pleased to have been invited here to uh, say a few words at the beginning and to celebrate and explore what the leading the sector team and the participants have achieved over the last year um, despite um, some very challenging circumstances. So as, as uh, has already been noted this project is an important part of the National Lottery Heritage Fund's ambitious digital skills for heritage initiative and that's designed to drive up digital capabilities across the whole of the UK heritage sector. Um, we promote digital leadership and we directly support digital skills development. And we've been doing that since February 2020 when we initially launched. Um, and as you can imagine, we work very rapidly with all of our delivery partners to revise our offer to better support the sector in relation to the impact of COVID-19. And this is a great example of um, one of our projects that has pivoted really successfully online and has moved from a primarily um, face to face model to an online only model. Of, of, of practice. Um, our programme as a whole is going from a 1.2 million initiative to a 3.5 million pound programme and it currently consists of 80, uh, sorry, 58 projects split across eight tranches um, and collectively all of our partners and grantees since the beginning have provided over 8,000 development opportunities to individuals and organisations. At the National Lottery Heritage Fund, our commitment to digital is fundamentally part of our commitment to the sector. The National Lottery Heritage Fund wants to ensure that the UK heritage sector benefits from the opportunities afforded by technology, and not just in terms of how to work smarter or more cost effectively, but also really importantly in terms of our commitment to inclusion and diversity into the environment. This project has been an extremely important part of that initiative as it does focus on senior sec sector leaders and board members. 
Um, last year, many of you all know, we ran the first ever benchmark survey of the heritage sector, so digital skills and confidence, the DASH survey. Um, and, it, and it clearly showed that we have many, many staff and volunteers right across the UK who were very positive about developing skills and adopting new digital practices. But the sector needs senior leaders with the insight and confidence to empower and support them and to ensure that collectively we're making the most of all the opportunities that digital offers. I'm really, really pleased to be here today to be a part of that. Thanks very much.